Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be the fantasy fun tag. So yeah, today I have my little mini-me co-star here with me today and hopefully, you know, she'll be good enough to last through the whole video. I was going to wait until I put it on for her nap, but she's wide awake and she wants to be my shadow, so I figured, hey, why not a great time to introduce her to you guys, so here we are. Okay, so the Fantasy Fun Tag was created by Vanessa from A World of Words and I'll link her page down below in the description bar. And the first question is, what fantasy series would you want to be a part of? You will be yourself, but a character in the series. Whether you survive would depend on your own abilities or abilities you could potentially learn in that world. And of course, I'm pretty sure you guys know what world I picked that I would live in. And I would be a part of Red Queen by Victoria Aviar. You guys know I love this so freaking much. I love this world so much. I know you guys like, but they're not really in a good predicament. Why would you want to live in that world? Well, simply because of the fact that I could potentially have powers i could potentially be one of those special red bloods where my power is just so freaking strong and you guys know i love mare's power so much because she has a power that i really wanted because i her powers are kind of like storms from x-men and i always love storm powers that would just be so amazing to be able to you know my power could just be i can control electricity that would be amazing so i would definitely want to live in this world question number two what type of fantasy being do you want to be? You could be a human-like one, like an elf shadow hunter or a wizard or a mythological creature like a dragon or a unicorn. Okay, so with this, um, I kind of got mixed up in between two things. But, okay, so first, first I thought of, uh, well, I would not mind being a Luna from the Luna Chronicles by Marissa Maya. Just because, oh my god, I would love to be able to control people's minds the way that Luna can. And when I read this book, I was like, that crap is so amazing. Like, that would just, that would make life a whole lot easier. You know, I can make people do what I wanted, want them to do. I can, you know, make myself look how I want to look in the eyes of other people. You know, like, just, I could do anything I want to do. Like, that would be amazing. You could pretty much get away with anything being a Luna if you really think about it. You can control people's minds. Okay, and the second thing I thought about was... Again, Red Queen came to my mind. I was like, I don't want to use Red Queen for every question because that's my like my favorite thing in the world. Of course, I would not mind being, you know, like I just said in my last answer, uh, Red Blood, you know, with the strong abilities and stuff. That would be freaking awesome. Number three, living your everyday life, would you rather have magic powers or a mythological creature as a pet or BFF? I mean, this was not a hard question for me. I would rather have the magic abilities. I could live without a pet. I mean, yeah, it would be awesome to, you know, have a, a, a like, a weird, you know, kind of creature that no one has. But I still would rather have the magic powers myself, again, to make life more easier and, like, just more interesting for me. Because I can, you know, control these abilities and stuff. Like, if I, was, if I had the powers of a Luna, I, I can control people's mind. If I had some of the powers like off a of red queen to control fire electricity you know super strength okay mommy i'm sorry what was that you okay okay <laughs> so <laughs> i guess she wanted to add her answer in too <laughs> but pretty much that was it for that question anyway okay so question number four who is your favorite fictional dragon now for this question, I haven't read too many books with, you know, dragons in it. At least, I don't think I've read any that I can really remember. So for this question, I kind of went to the movie-wise. Because I didn't want to say I'm not going to answer the question. But first dragon would be, you know, and it's really childish, but Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Because Toothless is awesome. If y'all ever seen that movie, you cannot say that he was not the bombdiggity.com. You could not say that. And then... Um, the second choice would be Aragon. I think Aragon is a book. I'm not 100% sure. I never checked to see, but I think it is a book. And Aragon movie was just really mysterious to me, especially how it started off. I love that movie. It was, I have not seen that movie in a long time, though, so I cannot tell you piece to piece how it happens. But either, either of those dragons would be my favorite, but definitely two lists would be number one, of course. Number five, what is your favorite fantasy movie? This was definitely not a hard, you know, question at freaking all because I am a Twilight, so my favorite fictional movie is Twilight, duh, how could it not be? Because Twilight is the the best, you know, and I know there's a lot of, I know there's equally as many people that hate Twilight that love Twilight, but you know what, that's not like a personal problem to me because Twilight was great, 
Okay, I love the book. I love the movie. The movie, you know, still gets me my feelings. Like, if I have a Twilight Marathon, because my mom has all the movies, so I would borrow her movies and I would have a Twilight Marathon. We'll have a Twilight Marathon together. By the time they get to the last movie, I just... I'm just in my feelings because it's like it, it, I'm starting it over and, and ending it all over again. It's just a it history that, oh my God, it's over, you know. Twilight is done with. There will never be any more and I wish there was. Question number six. If you could pull any character out of fantasy series to live in the normal world as your friend or maybe a love interest, who knows, Would you? who would you choose? Okay, now, at first, I'll read the second part of the question after. Now, at first, I was like, oh yeah, this is real easy. I, how, who would I not pick? You know, this would be real easy. At first I thought about man from, you know, Red Queen, because I was like, yeah, we'll be best friends, but she's pretty cool. And then I was thinking about, you know, um, love interest wise, like, oh my god, I would love Elias from Invented Ashes, because he just, you know, made me blush. Like, reading the book about him, I think he was like, he's the second book that I actually read about a character, and he actually made me blush, besides Twilight. Okay, and then another thing I thought about was Twilight. I was like, oh my god, I would love to take, you know, Alice out, because, you know, we, she's really cool, because we be best friends, you know. She likes, you know, doing the same stuff. I like, she likes dressing up, makeup, you know, she likes just doing wild things, I, I really like that. And she's really sweet, and I was like, oh my god, Edward would be great too, because, oh my goodness, who would not love Edward? Who would not want to be with you know, as a love interest? And then I started thinking about Cal from Red Queen, because, you know, he kind of made me blush too, reading about him also, so I was like, oh my god. And then he was like, really sweet, he had a really sweet side, he's really protective, I like that. But then, I finished reading the question, and it said, nope, this means they would no longer be in their world, their book world, so think about what that might mean. And I was like, well, if I'm taking them out of their book world, not having Mary and Cal and Red Queen would really mess up the order of things. It, it probably, you know, revolutionary-wise, the revolution probably never would have went as far as it has gone so far. So I was like, eh. So I can't take them out of their world because they're pretty freaking important. And then I was like, well, with Elias, I was like, well, he's pretty important in his damn book too. If I take him out, you know, that would change a, a lot of freaking things in that book, you know. So that's a no-go. And then I started thinking about, well, crap, I can't take Edward out of Twilight or Alice out of Twilight because they're a big part of the book. Um, you know, duh, they're like, you know, they're big main parts of the story. Um, so I was like, there's no way that I would be able to take them out of their book. So then I started to think about, okay, so then who would I still be able to take out of that world but it not disturb, you know, the order of things too much? And then I, you know, I kind of backtracked to a book I read like two years ago, I want to say. Yeah, and I chose Kai from the Match Trilogy, and I really, I didn't love this trilogy, but I loved the first book, Match. Like, okay, Match I gave, I think I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I really loved the first book, but the second and third book went downhill. But Kai, oh my God, was my favorite character in these books. I loved him so much. He was another character, another guy that made me blush because he's just so sweet and he's down to earth and you know he's just really laid back but you know he's really in touch with his feelings so he doesn't mind letting you know how he feels and it makes you feel you know like a little like a little school girl like you really get in stuff you know when he's around you and your atmosphere and stuff just from me reading this book so i would still take him out because i feel like if i take him out he's not really going to you know disrupt things too much except for maybe you know they probably wouldn't find that they had a, a, a glitch or anything to begin with because he wouldn't have been there for Casilla to see his face for her match in, in the beginning. So, but, you know, that's not too bad of a mess up. I would, you know, take him out anyway because I don't think he's too good of a character to be in here anyway. And the last question is, if you could make a supporting character in any fantasy series, the protagonist of that series, who would you make the new star? And for that one, I kind of get the same answer I gave for my last question. Um, for the match trilogy, I would make Kai the protagonist and take Cassia out and make her a supporting character because she was just so boring. She didn't, I don't think, I think Kai's story and his background would be a better role for the big star versus her. So I would definitely switch their positions up and make him the star. So thank you guys for watching my video and my tag. Oh, and I almost forgot to tag people. I would like to tag Sherry Walker, Brittany from Brittany and Books, Lucy from Lucy Reads, and I hope I pronounced your name right. I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Lavinia P. And those are all the people I would like to tag in this video. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.